Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I am Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. I thank you all for stopping by. Today we're going to be back in the USS West Virginia, the Tier 5 American Premium Battleship. It's a Colorado class battleship. And um, yeah, so... We're going to have an absolutely um, crazy damage number of a match coming up here very shortly. Now, the first few minutes of the game is going to be quite slow, so beware. Um, but when we get uh, when we get uh, into a good position here coming up, um, stuff will absolutely um, go crazy. So yeah, look forward to it. Now, one thing I want to uh, mention before we get started with the video is don't forget guys, go down there and hit that like button. Leave a comment below at the end of the video once you've watched it all the way through. Tell me what you thought and then subscribe. Uh, all those things do help out a lot. Um, and um, yeah, also in the description of the video, you guys can feel free to join my community Discord server that I run. So yeah, but uh, without further ado, Enough talking about all the uh, all the discords and all the likes, comments, and subscribes. I appreciate all the support, though. But yeah, we're going to be in the West Virginia, like I said. And uh, it's going to be an absolutely crazy match. It's going to start off a little slow. But when we get ourselves into a good position, we're going to absolutely go crazy. Now, we are going to unfortunately lose this game because teammates just being teammates. But, you know, um, I like to show these kind of matches. It was absolutely crazy. So people... Uh, everybody in the discord voted that they wanted this video to get shown so yeah um, here it is so right off the bat we're up to 15,000 damage we're keeping these guns rolling and uh, yeah we're doing pretty decent up to this point that dispersion looks pretty darn good and we should be able to smack him and yes we do absolutely smacked for 46,000 damage now I said this match was gonna start off a bit slow but that was probably one of the biggest hits I've had all game so yeah keep that in mind I was not expecting that at all but uh, we'll take it. So up to 46,000 damage. We've got our first Citadel. And uh, yeah, we're doing pretty decent so far. Now we see this New Mexico here at range. We take a shot. Hoping our 16-inch guns will drop straight into a Citadel. Maybe absolutely obliterate them. You never know. But we take the shot. And yeah, we do chunk them a bit. We're up to 55,000 damage now. And we're absolutely going nuts. I mean, the match looks like it's doing pretty well so far. But notice that we've already lost two ships in the first two minutes of the game. So I mean... Yeah, our team is not doing the greatest so far. I'll just say that. And we just lost another ship. We lost our only destroyer. So, so far, we're not really doing too well. Now, we got a Citadel on that Konigsberg. Absolutely showing him what happens when he absolutely um, decides to come around broadside. And he absolutely got shredded. So, yeah, we did, we did really well there. Got a beautiful hit. But notice our team, guys. Our team is just... Yeah, they're all throwing their ships away as usual. Not much we can really do about it. Um, but yeah, we are doing our part here. We're trying to kill this Konigsberg. If we just if we leave this Konigsberg alive, he will come into our cap and take it. So we just need to secure this side of the map. Now, maybe what I should have done um, was actually just charge at him, but I was just worried about torpedoes um, from him because I know the Konigsberg has six torpedoes on each side, and if I even take three or four of those, I could die. So... Um, I was very cautious here. I did not want to get torpedoed, so that's why I was I was being a bit um a bit passive aggressive here. I wasn't trying to push right into him, but at the same time, uh, yeah, I was trying to keep back so I wouldn't get torpedoed. So now that should be the end of the Konigsberg, and yes, it is. That would be our first kill of the game. We're up to eighty-five thousand damage. Not bad so far, and um, yeah, I can't really say. Uh, anything really too good about what my team is doing right now. I don't know how, but I am the only one on this side of the map. And somehow I'm doing better than when my whole entire other team is on the opposite side of the map. So I don't know what my team's doing. I hope they could step I hope they could step up and abs absolutely destroy those guys. It's not that hard. They've got the whole team over there. Like, come on, guys. But you know, it is what it is. Not much we can really do about it. So, um, the one of the downsides with the West Virginia is, of course, the speed. So, it's going to take us a very, very long time to get back into the fight. And that's the one problem I have with American Dreadnoughts is um, not the guns or anything, but just the maneuverability and the speed. It takes so long to get into a position to, uh, to actually start dealing damage. So, yeah. Now, our team did just get another kill. Good for them. But, uh, I mean, yeah. So... Unfortunately, I'm going to keep saying it, but the team, guys, just the teams, not doing too good, but we're trying our best here. We're going to try to get into a position here and hopefully be able to support our team best we can. Um, 
But unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to win this one no matter what. Um, so, yeah. Now, notice the speed, guys. 18 knots. Yeah, it's absolutely abysmal. So while I'm sailing um, literally slower than freaking got, uh, slower than the uh, turning traverse of the Pensacola, um, yeah, my whole team is dying around me. So it's not really, really that good at all. But we're trying our best, and there's really not much we can do about it. Like I said, guys, people are going to die. Nothing you can do about it. You just got to hope that you get some good teammates. But sometimes, you know, shit happens. But, uh, you know, eventually, you know, in about 6,000 years, we'll finally be over here and able to shoot these guys. Um, so, yeah, now, um, like I said, guys, if you guys have made it this far in the video, I appreciate it. Don't forget, go down there, hit that like button. It does help out a lot. And uh, subscribe to the channel. It, it seriously, guys, all the support is seriously greatly appreciated. And it's it's not, you know, it's not required here on Doctor Ghost Games. You guys can just watch for fun or whatever. But I do appreciate all the support, no matter what. Um, you guys just being here and watching is awesome. And I'm glad you guys choose me to watch um, over some other people. So I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so we're finally in range of some people and we're able to actually get a salvo off. And uh, wow, I know, right guys? But um, yeah, so those shells look okay. We're going to get a few on target, I believe. And yeah, we get two penetrations. We're up to 80, uh, 80 nope, 90,000 now. So we're doing pretty good in that, uh, in that effect. And if anybody likes damage, if y'all are damage hunters or whatever, this match is for you because we go absolutely nuts. Um, although, you know, we did what we were supposed to, and we, we tried to be tried our best to secure our side, but it's just the problem with it is we didn't have the speed to get back over here. If we, if we could have been over here sooner, I feel like we could have actually won this game. Um, so yeah, it's just the speed that kind of screwed us over, but I mean, hey, we still did really good. This is probably, I think this is actually my best match ever, um, in a, uh, damage-wise in a tier 5 battleship. So I'm really happy about it, and, um... Yeah, I thought this would be a pretty cool video to post on Friday. Uh, I was going to post the patch notes today, but everybody wanted me to do the West Virginia because I said there was a huge damage number. So, yeah, everybody picked that instead. So, now, notice this carrier here, the Ryujo. He's coming at me a little bit at an angle. He's a little broadside, and we shoot a full salvo of armor piercing out, and let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Dev struck, high caliber, bunch of citadels. That's our second kill of the game. We're up to 113,000 damage. And <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do it. Oh my goodness. That carrier probably chucked his controller into his TV screen. Not gonna lie. Um, but anyways, we'll take it. And uh, yeah, we absolutely smacked the hell out of that dude. Sending him back to port, making him rethink his strategies. But, uh, yeah, and we get another Citadel just for, you know, just for the fun of it. Bringing our damage up to 127,000 damage. That poor Andrea Doria. We're just bullying people out here. But, uh, like I said, guys, it just seriously, no matter how much damage you do, sometimes it's just not enough to win a game. And uh, it's really unfortunate. Notice I'm trying to get up here to capture this base. Because, like I said, I'm trying to still win at the same time. Although, yes, I'm getting an absolute crazy amount of damage. But I'm also trying to win this game still. So we're making our way to the cap because nobody else will. And uh, we'll be able to hopefully flip this and get some points. But I, it still isn't going to be enough. Um, now there's our Confederate medal. Up to 140,000 damage. We're still absolutely smacking the ever-living crap out of these guys. Showing them what this uh, this ship's all about. The guns are fantastic on it. And... Um, yeah, would I say it's any better than, like, Queen Elizabeth or War Spite? Probably not. The Queen Elizabeth and the War Spite are absolutely fantastic, but this ship still is quite great, and it can do what it's got to do. And as you guys can see in this match, this is just proof that this ship is still quite a fantastic Tier 5 battleship. But, uh, yeah, notice that the battleship is coming straight at us, and we're finally about to make it into this capture zone. So, yeah, um... Now we're just keeping, like I said, we're keeping these 16-inch guns rolling while we're getting to this cap, and we are finally slipping into it. And uh, notice that there is a Andrea Doria and a New Mexico charging at us, and we're going to get some weird salvos coming up. I was hoping that I would get absolute real guns on these guys, and I thought we could have actually won this game, but unfortunately, it's just not going to happen. And you guys will see what happens um, coming up here very shortly. But notice we got an incapacitation on that Andre Doria. I believe we knocked out one of his guns. We're up to 147,000 damage. I mean, yeah, guys, there's no doubt in my mind that I did absolutely fantastic. I did all I could this game. It's just a lot of the teammates just didn't 
they did not do very good this game. So, um, like I said, nothing we can really do about it. But, yeah, we're coming to the end of this uh, match. Um, we're just waiting to hopefully get this capture zone. We're keeping these guns rolling, trying to take out the Andre Adorio. We know we can overmatch his bow. And, uh, unfortunately, we just we do a lot of damage, but we don't get him. And, uh, yeah, we absolutely got chunked by that Queen Elizabeth because those British 15-inch guns are absolutely disgusting. And uh, really not much we could do about that either. But, uh, yeah, armor on the West Virginia, not the greatest in the world. But, uh, you know, it, it is okay. But, um, yeah, now the Andrea Doria is making a mistake here. He's going broadside. Not sure what he's thinking, but, you know, it's not a good idea. And, yeah, that's our, what is that? That is our third kill of the game. Also, another Citadel. We're up to 161,000 damage, guys. We are absolutely going crazy. I thought my team could be able to kill the Oklahoma. Yes, they do. Finally, the Oklahoma goes down. And uh, right now, it is a 2v2 situation. We still got our carrier alive. I still thought we could win this. I mean, it's still possible. Um, it's still a very possible game to win. Um, we have to kill both these guys if we're going to do it. But, yeah, the problem is, look at that dispersion, guys. Absolutely horrible. And that is what's going <laughs> to... That's what's going to cost us this game is that dispersion, guys. The gun's just not doing very good right now. And I need good dispersion. I need good accuracy to actually get this win. I need these guns to start hitting these guys super hard. I like how the Queen Elizabeth can smack us for 9,000. Jesus. But, um, yeah. Um, unfortunately, guys, it's just, it, it's not going to happen. But we are going to get 100, uh, 200,000 damage. And, um, yeah. So, at this point, we're just waiting for these guns to reload. Finally, they reload. And I'm trying to wait and see who I want to shoot at. Do I want to shoot at the New Mexico? Yes, I do. And I shoot, and we absolutely smack him, and once again, we leave him on nothing. Well, we leave him around 10,000 HP, but we're just doing all the damage here, but we're not killing these guys. And by the way, we hit 200,000 damage, so yeah, that is immediately for me a record um, for a Tier 5, I believe. I've never had 200k damage in a Tier 5 anyway, so I'm pretty happy about this. And uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good up to this point damage-wise. And not to mention, guys, not just the damage, but we've done our job. I mean... We've done the best we can, and no matter what I've done there, I don't think I could have changed the outcome of this battle. But even if I was to capture all the bases, we still wouldn't be able to win this, I don't believe. Um, it's just, you know, not much we could have done, but I hope you all did enjoy it. We finished off at 208,000 damage. So, you know, for people that like damage and people that like huge damage number games, here you go. Um, but yeah, that is it, guys. I hope you all did enjoy it. And uh, if you guys did, don't forget to punch that like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel. All the support is seriously greatly appreciated. But uh, yeah, I will see you on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.